This is diamond VP apparatus which contains mercury. This is the frame. Then this is the cube. This contains mercury. This is the bulb. And this is the VP cup which contains NIBP bladder. Now how we will come to know that whether this VP apparatus is calibrated or not. So you can see mercury over here. It should be on this zero point. Now currently you can see this is not on zero which means this is not calibrated. So for that we have to fill mercury till zero. Now let us see the simplest method of calibrating this VP apparatus. So first as you can see mercury over here. So tilt it. So you will not see mercury over here. Now lock this. The mercury has been locked. Now pull it up and remove the tube. Now take the mercury and fill it. Once filled, now place this tube and check whether it is reaching zero or not. So while placing this, this number should be facing towards front. Place it. Pull it up. Now once placed, open the lock and check. Now as you can see, this mercury has not reached zero. So repeat the process. While filling mercury, one easy way is that you can tilt it and then fill over here. Unlock this, fill the mercury in tilt position and then again lock. Once you fix this tube, make sure that this should be properly fixed in this slot. Otherwise, if this flap is closed or if this uh, tube is facing down, downwards, then from here mercury spillage may happen. If this tube is damaged or broken, then you can replace this tube as shown before. And this tube is easily available in the market as well. And make sure that whenever you replace this tube, you have to slightly tilt this and then lock it over here. Now let us check that mercury has reached zero position or not. Let us unlock it. Now it is on zero. So this is calibrated. If this hinge is broken, then it can be replaced. That part is easily available in the market. If this flap is not closing properly or fixing not properly, then tight this screw and make sure that this curve is facing upward. In some cases, due to mercury spillage, you can see that air gaps in the mercury or there is air bubbles in the mercury. This is due to the insufficient mercury in this apparatus. So in that case, you have to check whether this mercury is reaching zero or not. So in that condition you have to check whether it is in uh, zero or not in the initial stage or before inflating the cuff. Now let us see if problem comes that mercury is not being stable in one place. For example, I am inflating this. Now as you can see mercury is coming down but this is tolerable leakage. If it falls if it falls more speedily, then there is major leakage over here. The leakage can be here or in this bladder or in this valve anywhere. So how to check it? First, pinch it over here. Now this is stable. This means there is no issue from this point to this point. Now pinch it over here. Now it is stable, which means there is no issue till here. Now if you remove, you can see that here minor leakage is there because of which it is coming down. So accordingly, whichever part is faulty, for example bladder, let it be valve or bulb, everything is available in the market. So you can replace it. Also these connectors are also available in the market. Sometimes one issue also comes like this that you can see this mercury is without air bubbles. You can see whenever you uh, inflate this with the bulb, there will be air gaps in between the mercury. That is because there is insufficient mercury in the apparatus.